Go away, fat toy. Drop one, I'm Mai. I'm Chris, half Chinese, half Vietnamese, born and raised in England. This is Mia. Hi, guys. I'm Chinese, born and raised in Vietnam. So today, both of us are going to tell you our experience about Lunar New Year. Cool. Let's get started. <laughs> The first thing is, it's called Lunar New Year's, right? Yeah, it's Lunar New Year because we're using Lunar Calendar. But a lot of people call it Chinese New Year. I guess so, because a lot of Chinese around the world. Yeah, we are Chinese too. We are Chinese too, so... But in Vietnam, it's also called Tet or... Tet. Did I get it right? Tet. Tet. Tea, like tea. No, but tea would be Tet. <laughs> Better pronunciations from a Vietnamese girl. Commonly known as... Chinese New Year or dirt? Yep. <laughs> well, not only does China and Vietnam celebrate it, there's actually other countries that celebrate dirt or Chinese New Year. <laughs> Tibet, Mongolia, and also Korea. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's over a billion people celebrating this holiday, which is basically Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's all bundled into one. It's like this big celebration that lasts for 15 days, and it stops. In Cantonese, like, Sơn Yin Tan, basically is the first biggest festival in the year. Love it, love it! Why Tet Holiday or Chinese New Year is the most desirable holiday of the year, you get a chance to get some red envelope or lazy, what's that? Lazy. This one, which is full of money inside. In order to get more lazy, you have to go buy lean. So basically, it's giving some greeting to the elderly or someone who is married. That's why we are here to help you get more lazy. So some of the things or greetings you might say is Gong Fa Choi. Everyone knows that. It actually means you get more money or be more wealthy in the next year. It's not just like Happy New Year. But I've heard a lot of Westerners use that as a Happy New Year. Gong Hei Fa Choi is the standard one. If you say like Happy New Year, you almost always say, I hope you make lots of money next year. Yeah, because Chinese love money. That's true, Chinese love money. It's basically a wish of health, right? Wish you good health. Ma dou gong sing. Ma dou gong sing. What it actually means is like uh, successful in things you do. But the literal translation is literally a horse uh, invading a city. Sang san si sing. Anything you wish for will become the truth. So be careful what you wish for. Wang choi zhao sao. Meaning you will get some money without working hard. Which is cool, right? So basically, it's for anyone who likes to gambling. There's a lot about money, isn't there? Yeah, Chinese love money. The next one would be Qing Chun Sheng Qi. Just like for the women. You keep your beauty. Why just women? Is my question. Because men, they don't care about their look. Is it true, guys? Do you care about your looks? No, we don't. Only women care about it. Zhong Yu Gao Wang, meaning you wish you always have luck. If you do anything, you need luck. Obviously, a bunch of things that people say to each other, but also there's some things that you should do during Lunar New Year. What are those things, Mia, as you are a resident expert? <laughs> Apparently, you need to clean your house on a specific day leading up to the new year. Tell us about that. At the end of the year, my mom would like She have to look it up on the Tong Sing to pick out one perfect day for everyone to clean the house. Pick up the soba. <laughs> pick up the soba. <laughs> we have to have a specific day to do it. So it's like so obvious. The second thing is Sang Sang Hong. Another good day. For you to clean up all the statue in your house, every god in your house, and then put on some red thing. What is this red thing? <laughs> Another thing, people buy a lot of things. So like you're supposed to wear like new outfits and like new shoes and new hats or whatever. Tell us about that. Why do you buy new things? Like new year, new thing, right? New year, new me. So you have to put on some new clothes, which I convince everyone to do it. A good excuse for you to waste money on clothes, isn't it? <laughs> I guess so. Probably. On Lin Man, you have to take a shower as early as possible. Wash your feet earlier 
So you will do things faster than people. So it means you are first in line for yes. things. Yes, first in line. Wow, native, native. And also on the Lin Sa Man or Lin Ya Gao, it's very crucial for you to wear a new shoe. Oh, Tai Xiu Yan. Explain what like Tai Xiu Yan is. It's super weird. So what is it? So Xiu Yan basically is some bad guy who will do bad thing at you, like talk bad about you. So if you put on the new shoes, like basically you will like stopping them to do that in the next coming year. So weird. But okay. So do you know that on Lin Choi Yat, like my auntie always say, you should wear red underwear to attract more luck. Yeah, I will do this. So first day of the new year, we will go to temples, visit a lot of temples, uh, wish for good luck, wish for health, of course money. And of course money. Recurring theme here, recurring theme. And then usually on Lin Choi Yi, the second day of new year, we will have Ho Lin. There's like rituals in terms of like buying things for the god. Basically, you're giving your offerings to the god, right? Buy the guy a chicken, siu yu ba hai, they buy san. Like buy man, I don't know. So we spoke about the things that you should do. Uh, what about the things that you shouldn't do? Actually, on the New Year Eve, you shouldn't say bad thing. Like even joking is like prohibited. It's very sacred night. And on the first day of New Year. Don't wash your hair. You can shower, of course. But why is what we want to know. You will wash away your luck. You'd wash away your bad luck. You wash away your good luck. Oh. That's why you don't wash your hair. <laughs> Otherwise, you should wash your hair ten times a day. And also, don't sweep the floor. Don't sweep on the first day of the New Year's because that would also sweep away any of the fortune or luck that you might have. Don't give away stuff on the first month. Don't give away stuff on the first month. Yeah. Why? First month is more about getting more in. If you give away, you probably give away your luck, your fortune. Don't buy shoes and buy hat because shoes are like high, high. Saying like you don't want to high, high the whole year. So high is basically like you encounter some bad things like, hey yeah, like Uncle Roger. <laughs> hey yeah, and mo mo is like basically like, mo yeah, middle mo. Yeah. 买个毛翻来, it's like, 买毛也翻来, it's like, what do you do with that for, right? I've probably done right. all of these things without even knowing because there's too, there's too much symbolism. There's too much like things that like are kind of silly. Like a billion people do this, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, let's move on to other random things that you should know about this holiday. Do you know that uh, on the seventh day is like birthday for everyone? On the seventh day of the new year, mm -hmm. which is February the seventh this year, yes. is yes. the birthday for everybody. Yeah, it's like called Yan Yat, Yan Yat Sang Yat. It's like everybody just gets a day off anyway because it's part of the celebration, and it's like you can celebrate your birthday again. So you have two birthdays in the year. It is a happy birthday on the seventh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, some great tip from my mom. Pro tip from mother. If you have BO, you should buy a mantau, which is a. It's like a bun. Yeah, you know? like a bun without anything inside. And then put it on your armpit and like sit there for like five minutes. You get rid of your BO. Try it. I don't get it. I don't get it too. On the 15th, in here in Saigon, we will have a parade. So we are bringing out the god statue from the temple and give them a tour. So it's called A Po Chut Yao. They will like bong chi a po, and then hang yong yong. Hang yong yong. How many people get like any of the things you just said? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and also in Google, me, Chu Quan Miu, what do you call me? Tuk Tuk Tang. Tai Hei. Tai Hei, yeah, Tai Hei. So they will perform a Tai Hei for the god inside the temple. Tuk Tuk Tang. That's yeah, that's a slang word for it. It's actually like onomatopoeia, tuk tuk tang, because it actually sounds like that. This is what it sounds like. Something is very random and very hard to understand, even for you, like you have a Chinese root, right? 
Yeah, it's one of the holidays that you learn something every year that's new that you have to do or not do, and it's really interesting. Sometimes I don't understand about it, but it's just like doing it because it's Chinese new new, right? It's bring you the the vibe. Well, I hope you have learned on how random Lunar New Year is and how symbolic it is to lots of Chinese people and Asian people around the world. If you haven't had a Chinese New Year, I hope you will have a chance to experience that holiday. Only experience the holiday. Yeah, I hope you can celebrate Chinese New Year with us this year. Eat good, rest well, get lots of money. Wish you a happy New Year. Peace. Bye. Cool. Let's get started. Go ahead, Fa Chai. Wait, that's it, huh? Hello, guys. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll do this. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take the eagle. Let's see. Fong. Uh, that's a lot of sin. I'm Chinese. No. Yes, yeah. you're Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Chinese. <laughs> yeah, Chinese. yeah, you're fucking Chinese, Chinese man. And today we're gonna be little little bit. Oh yeah, in England they don't do any of this. So any of this is bullshit. I didn't really understand that. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> Take a whole minute, Tilly. So, ah, <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Yes, nailed it.